Hi everyone, it's Chrissy and welcome back to a really fun and special video. So today we're going to be touring some of your Shell Challenge submissions for the Shell Challenge that I ran for about, I believe, almost a month to celebrate my channel's three year anniversary, which is actually today on the day that this video is coming out. Now, for those of you that didn't watch the original video, I'm just going to give you a quick rundown of what a Shell Challenge is. Basically, I just went in and I created this shell. So it's literally just a shell. There's nothing in it, nothing like on the outside of it or anything like that. It's literally just a shape. And the only rule that you really had was that you couldn't change any of my walls. So you couldn't go in and say, oh, I wanted this bigger or smaller or, you know, whatever. Or I wanted this to be completely gone. You couldn't do that and you also couldn't go ahead and like replace say this wall with a half wall or with a like spandrel or like a fence or anything like that and you couldn't go in and say oh I want to add another room to you know this floor and I want to do that for example you couldn't do that but other than that you could literally you could rotate this shell that I made you could rotate it any way that you wanted it to be you could like put it on a foundation, you could put it on platforms, you could change the like the wall heights for each level, everything like that, that's totally fine. You could even add, you know, freestanding buildings. So for example, if you wanted to have like a shed or a back like a backyard, like pool house kind of thing, you could totally do that, that's fine. The only rule is basically just don't touch my walls. <laughs> So yeah, that's the only rule and we're going to be going through and looking at six of your guys' submissions. So these aren't the only submissions that I got, but there were a ton of them on the gallery and I did go through each and every one of them. I looked at each and every one of them. I favorited them and everything like that, but I didn't want this video to be like a few hours long. So we're just going to be looking at six of my favorite builds and then somewhere through the like through the course of this video I also have a really fun like announcement to make so like not really announcement but yeah kind of like an announcement so yeah stick around for that but with that all of with all of that out of the way let's jump straight on into actually touring your builds Okay, so first up we have this really really gorgeous build that actually was built in Sulani and this was built by Irene Mary One, and I will leave everyone's like gallery IDs and probably links to the builds as well in the description if you guys want to go ahead and download all any of these builds, or you can just look under hashtag Chrissy Shell One, and they should all be up under there as well. But yeah, so this is the first build that we're going to be looking at, and I love this because it's it's quite different i did see a few people did like sulani builds with the shell and everything like that but i don't know i just i love the way this one turned out i love the colors with like the orange and the blue and everything so yeah let's have a look at the interior of this so this looks like it's i don't know a few maybe yeah like three bedrooms if i'm counting correctly yeah so it's definitely a family home and when you walk in you like have the little entryway and there's a ton of these like really pretty like it's not custom pictures but I mean it's kind of custom pictures but it doesn't mark the build as having custom content in them so that's really cool it's a bunch of these like paint by reference pictures but yeah so you walk into the house you have the little like entryway you have a little bathroom probably like the family bathroom through this door you have like the TV kind of room which is really really nice with a nice rocking chair in the corner and like I said a bunch of really pretty artwork. You also have a cute little laundry room which is really nice. I love adding laundry to my builds so I loved seeing that. And yeah then we have just a cute little seating area that leads out to the back but you have this really pretty like dining area with a gorgeous view of the ocean which is absolutely fantastic. And then we have the kitchen, which is again, a really nice kitchen. Lots of the like island living counters and stuff. And I think this bar is from like, I think Get Famous, but it actually works really well with these counters. And I never thought of using it that way. But yeah, we have like the really pretty kitchen. And then we have like an office space over here in this weird little like diagonal bit that I did. So yeah, we have a cute little office space. 
And then going up the stairs, we have just, you know, regular like landing area. Then we have the master bedroom off to the right, which is really pretty. I love all of like the blue and I love that they actually managed to use like the paranormal wallpaper and even the rug in this. And I think, yeah, the chair as well. It actually works really well with all of like the other blue colors in the build. And then the parents have their own like private deck with, you know, a little treadmill outside. And then up here we have another like family bathroom. And then, yeah, there's another balcony up here at the front. So kind of like the kids balcony with something for the kids to do. We also have two kids rooms. So we have a blue room and then we have an orange room. And they both look like they're for kids because there's toys in both of them. But I absolutely love the way this build turned out. It's so colorful and bright. And yeah, we have obviously the downstairs balcony with some wind chimes. And we have like a really colorful sailboat and like floaties and jet ski and stuff. All of the things that you need to have fun in like the waves. But yeah, so this is the first build by Irene Mary. And let's jump on into the second one. Okay, so next up we have this really modern eco like dream family home by Avenix. I'm not saying this correctly, but I will have, like I said, the creator's details down in the description. But yeah, A-V-N-X-T. I'm not, I don't know how to pronounce that. I'm sorry. But yeah, so this build is wildly different from the last one. And it's super modern. It's really like colorful and everything like that as well. I mean, obviously it's bright blue, but it looks so cool. And there's so much to look at. So yeah, let's just have a look at the, like, exterior for a second, because at the front you have, obviously, you have the entryway, and you have a little, like, fake garage bit, and a bunch of bikes and stuff. You even have, like, their own private little basketball court, which is so cute. I love that little detail. Then when you go this, so, like, through this side, you have, like, the water collecting thing. You have, I love the way they did this pathway as well. But yeah, you can go through into the backyard and in the backyard you have a cute little like greenhouse bit with, you know, flower arranging, bee boxes, everything like that. You have obviously the like hot tub and a pool and a bunch of like, you know, lounge chairs and even a little kiddie pool and, you know, a bunch of towels around, some yoga mat, not yoga mats, meditation stools. And then you also have underneath these awnings you have the grill and... A little like picnic table I love this look of it like just look at that it's so cute and so like I guess like realistic looking I love it and then you have a little fire pit as well with you know some couches just to chill out so yeah that's the exterior of this and I just I love the way they did the fencing as well like using all of these different fences and even like using columns and stuff to make it like unique I love that and then obviously the island living bushes around you know around the whole lot and I love that they even use like the terrain manipulation to change the terrain a little bit to make it look le like less flat and stuff that's like such a nice touch that I always forget to do when I build but yeah going into the house you start off with obviously like the entryway and I think there was supposed to be like another column like right here or something or I don't know, I think like move objects is messing stuff up a little bit. I have tried like replacing the lot like multiple times. But it still seems to be like freaking out like move objects. So I'm really sorry if there's something like missing. And yeah, I can't like convey the like full like idea of it. But yeah, it's just move objects being glitchy. But yeah, so right when you get in the front door, you have a little like half bathroom. Then off this way, we have the, like, living room, which I love how this looks. I love, like, the almost, like, built-in bookcase and the whole, like, big unit for, like, the TV and stuff. Like, the built-in unit and, like, the colors and everything. It's so modern. And then off through this door, we actually have, like, the little laundry room as well. Now, going to the other side, you actually have in this, like, weird, like, diagonal bit, you have the kind of like fake garage storage thing I mean it's not technically a garage because you can fit like a car in here but maybe it's like a converted garage or something with like the generator and a bunch of like clutter items and stuff 
And then you also have a cute little like dining space, which is so cute. I love having like this table pushed up against the wall. It's kind of like a little bit more realistic because, you know, you have a tight space so you can't necessarily fit it in, you know, as it would normally be like in the middle of a room. And then we have the kitchen, which again, like super modern, sleek, black appliances, not appliances, but like counters and stuff. And then we have a little like mud room type space with like shoe racks and stuff where you go out to the backyard. As well as a little pantry area, which is, this is such a cool idea, having it be like, you know, having like the door separating it off. So that looks so cool. You have a little pantry. And then you also have a little wine like cellar type thing. So that's cool. And then you have obviously just up the, up to the, well, up to the upstairs. Yeah. No, the stairs up to the second floor <laughs> where you have just a cute little chess table in the hallway. You have the master bedroom, which is, I love this. I love that they use like this dark green for the like wallpaper in the master bedroom. I love the way that looks for some reason. I don't know. I just, I really like it with all of like the dark wood furniture. And then the parents do have their own ensuite, which is great. And then we have, looks like yeah, a really big like shared bedroom. So I'm guessing these are like twins or something, but yeah, maybe one of them is like, yeah, they both look like children. So I'm guessing they're like twins or something, but yeah, they even have their own ensuite that they can share. So yeah, like a blue and pink towel. I love that. It's so cute. I don't think I've ever had my twins like sharing such a big room where they have, you know, their own like little desk spaces and their own like it's kind of like they have their separate rooms, but it's not separate, if that makes sense. And I just, I love all of like the little details, all of like the little clutter items and things that kind of like add personality to them, if that makes sense. So obviously like this twin is like really into crafting, like crafting, knitting, stuff like that. And then this one looks like they're more into like being a little bit more clean and organized. Maybe they're into sports or something because they do have like little sports thing sports clutter over there but yeah i love this this looks so cool this is such an amazing house and yeah i think it's like the eco like eco-friendly family house or something on the gallery by avenixt i'm sorry like i said all of the information will be down below but let's move on to the next one shall we okay so this next build is again like wildly different from the two previous ones because yeah, this is clearly supposed to be like an old, kind of abandoned, but then renovated like church or like just a really old building. And just ignore the fact that it doesn't really fit into like this part of Willow Creek. Just ignore that. Picture this in like Forgotten Hollow or somewhere like that. But yeah. So we have this build by Ella May 1000. And this is just... When I saw this on the gallery, I was just... I didn't recognize my shell like at all I mean you can't really tell that my shell is like under here somewhere like I mean how I, the, it amazes me how many different kinds of builds people can make from the same shell it's completely mind-boggling but yeah so let's take a look at this build so obviously the exterior is not really, yeah, it's kind of like, kind of run down, a little bit overgrown, you know, you have the creepy gravestones and stuff, that's why I thought this might have been like a church or something, so it kind of looks like they have the older, like, original wall on the interior, like the stone one, and then whoever lives here now, maybe they added the, like, really tall, like, iron fencing to kind of maybe keep people out, if that makes sense. Because it does look like the old wall has, you know, fallen down in some places. It's not totally, you know, you know, it's not really, they didn't want to restore it. So they just built a new one around it. But yeah, so you have a bunch of like creepy gravestones around. You have like a little fountain, a bunch of like creepy trees and everything. And then that building that we'll get into in a second. But yeah, going into the front, you have obviously a really grand like entrance area with kind of like the original arches and stuff and then you like walk straight on into like the kitchen and the dining room which is so cool I love that this is like a really open concept area so 
even though the building is really old, the kind of idea behind the interior is kind of more modern with like the open concept stuff. So yeah, you have like a really big, nice kitchen, really nice center island. You have a little dining space. You have up here a really creepy organ. So yeah, you can play some organ music and have, you know, a bunch of like reading books and stuff. There are a few like cracks and cobwebs and stuff around the place as well. But yeah, we have a little like seating, like guess like living room area. There's no TV. So yeah, it's kind of more like a sitting room kind of thing. And then you have a little like mud room to like the backyard with you know laundry and all of that stuff. And then to get upstairs, you actually go through this ladder. And then there's this really run down kind of master bedroom loft kind of space. So as you can see, the walls up here are a little bit more run down, a little bit you know more like cracked and stuff like that. But you do have a nice really big bedroom with a computer and a really old typewriter here. So maybe the person that lives here is a writer or something. And yeah, you have just the cute like, you know, little like master en suite. But I love this. So this is something I wanted to show off. But yeah, so you have like the little balcony that faces off into like that looks over into like the living room area. And I love the way that looks. I've never thought about, you know, having a balcony with, you know, these arches instead of just having it be like an open railing. So yeah, that's really, really cool. I love that. So that's the whole interior of the build, like the main build. But then we have this weird mausoleum type thing on the outside. And this actually has a coffin in it. Yeah, so there's a coffin. And then when you like, you know, move the coffin out of the way... You can see, obviously, there's a coffin, there's, you know, headstones, all of that stuff, urns, everything. But if you move the coffin out of the way, you'll see that there's a ladder going downstairs to the, like, kind of secret, I'm guessing, kind of, like, vampire lair or, like, vampire basement or crypt. I, crypt is probably a better word. But yeah, so I'm guessing these are the two vampires that are supposed to be living here or that did live here, you know once upon a time but yeah that's kind of freaky and obviously if your sims are vampires and they have like the bat form like perk that they can get then they can fly down here without any problem but regular sims won't be able to get in there so that's really cool but yeah i just i love this this looks so cool and obviously this like gate that they put in front of it isn't actually a fence it's just a debug object that they put into the wall i messed it up but yeah so that's really cool i love that this build was so cool and thank you so much ella may for turning my shell into something like this this i really didn't expect to see anything like this if i'm being completely honest okay but now that i have you guys here and we're about halfway through touring all of the builds we're just gonna take a quick second to look at some of my like all the random footage of builds that i have done whilst i make a quick giveaway announcement so thanks to sim guru frost and the game changer program i actually have a code for the sims 4 jungle adventures game pack for pc and mac to give away to you guys and jungle adventures is a pack that holds a really special place in my heart because it's literally the pack that i started my channel with so the first ever video on my channel three years ago today was a jungle adventures early access video and i believe it was a creator sim and then a few hours later i uploaded my first ever speed build and they're both absolutely terrible so i would not recommend that you go back and watch them i will however leave them linked on the screen if you want to go back and like laugh with me at how bad my commentary used to be but anyway i digress to enter this giveaway all you have to do is obviously be subscribed to the channel you know you want to support the channel and then also leave me a comment on this video leave me a comment telling me what your favorite build is that you've seen so far or that is coming up what your favorite part about the shell challenge was what your favorite part about the game, like the whole Sims game is, what your favorite part about my channel is. You know, literally anything. You can comment about any of those things or anything else. Just leave me a comment 
and include in your comments a like include either your twitter or your instagram handle so that i can contact you if you're the winner if you don't leave one of those then obviously i won't be able to contact you and yeah basically this giveaway will be running until the 3rd of march so next wednesday at 10 a.m pacific time i will go ahead i'll close the giveaway i'll use a random draw generator to pick a random winner and then i will contact that winner once the winner has been contacted and they've responded and redeemed their code and everything, I will go ahead and I'll pin a comment to the top of the comment section of this video. I'll also announce it in the video description on this video and I'll also on the video that either goes out on the 3rd or the video that goes out like right after it or something, I will also pin a comment to the top of the comment section of that video as well so that you can see that the winner has been chosen but obviously i'll do it on this one too so yeah that's basically all you have to do to enter the giveaway and yeah you can stand a chance to win a code for the pc or mac version of the sims 4 jungle adventures but yeah that's i think everything i wanted to say so yeah let's with all of that out of the way let's jump straight back into actually looking at what you've built Okay, so the next build that we have to look at is this base game only family home by Jelinat99. Now the reason I picked this one to tour because it is is because it is base game and also because this build is even though it kind of looks a little bit simpler from the outside, it also looks so realistic to houses that you would actually see in like a suburban neighborhood because you know in real life you don't really have houses that are like super detailed in regular suburban like neighborhoods and i don't know i'm a sucker for a good suburban house and especially because this one has a lot of like modern touches to it it looks like a new constructed house like a new construction project so yeah i love this house i just I don't know there's something about this house that i just can't get over and the fact that it's just base game as well is also again very impressive to me because i can't just build base game houses it's something that i really struggle with so yeah they have used you know terrain manipulation a little bit and just to make it look a little bit more i guess like realistic i guess i, mean, I don't know i like i love the way they did the landscaping and the backyard as well with having the pool on like a little bit of a foundation just to make it look a little bit more interesting and i don't know i love the like little gardening space and just the more more like modern little patio area it just also the colors like the gray with the like warmer wood tones and then the black and then the white i don't know it's just a really nice contrast i guess and this is actually like a debug fence post it's not even like an actual in-game column it's just like a debug item which is so cool i don't think i've ever seen that if i'm being completely honest but yeah so when you get into the house you have the like really nice entryway very fancy entryway i might add very nice looking little place to sit and take your shoes off through this archway you actually go into like the hallway area and you have a little desk space set up and then obviously the stairs up to the like second floor. But if you go through this archway you have the like living room and like family spaces and can we just like take a moment to look and appreciate this living room. What am I doing? I'm in a wall. <laughs> But yeah, so like, I mean, just look at this. I love the like, again, like the built-in like entertainment unit and the couches. These are base game couches. Like everything in this is base game. But you know, these are chairs that they've sized down, raised up and moved around to look like they're like, I almost said sofas. No, they're pillows. <laughs> they kind of look like they're pillows on the couches. And I love that little detail making something new from like just base game items then we have a really nice fancy like big dining room with obviously the double doors onto the backyard we have a little like closet space in here as well kind of like a laundry space i'm guessing if they were using laundry day they would have added you know maybe like laundry machines in here or something with like the folded clothes and stuff but then we have the kitchen as well and again so freaking creative like 
just look at this kitchen. I love, again, like the black countertops and cabinets and stuff. I mean, this is... What is this? Oh, my soul. This is a... This is like a range hood. This is a range hood. Yeah, it's like the steely fan range hood that they've... I'm guessing like, yeah, sized up and used as a cabinet. That's so clear. I love that. I love that so much. They've also used like these things from like the toddler, like not toddler shelves, but like little end tables and kind of use them as shelving. That looks so cool. I've, n I've never seen someone do that. That looks freaking awesome. And yeah, so downstairs we also have a little small, tiny little bathroom that's actually functional and then we have just a small like little maybe guest room or maybe like a teenager's room or something and then upstairs if i can see my keyboard <laughs> yeah upstairs we have a really nice hallway area just some seating space a like little family bathroom with a shower and everything and then a really big fancier bathroom it's not an ensuite to the master bedroom but this one is a little bit fancier probably like the parents bathroom or something but yeah then we obviously have the master bedroom very nice i'm loving all of like these built-in units that they've done with all of like the like count not counters but like cabinets from like the kitchen cabinets i love that so yeah big fancy master bedroom I'm loving all of the like more neutral colors like the neutral colors with like the really stark black accents I'm just I love the way that looks for some reason and then we actually have a like shared bedroom so I'm guessing this is for like twins or something but yeah I'm guessing these are like twins maybe one of them looks like they're into maybe like music and the other one is look apparently like into art or something like that but yeah, I love the way they've done this. They've actually created these functioning desks. So the way you do that is you have like, in this case, they have a table that they've sized down a lot. Or you can use like a counter, like a kitchen counter island, like island counter. You can size those down, hide them, and then use these shelves to create like little desk areas. And they actually work. So that's so cool. I love this build. Again, like I said, I can't believe this is just base game. Just looking at it, you never would have... I never would have thought that this was just base game. But it's so cool. I mean, I love... Like I said, I love the way people that build with just the base game. I love how they can be so creative. And just come up with things that, like I said, I never would have thought of doing. So yeah, Jelenat, this was an absolutely fabulous build. Thank you so much for submitting this one. Okay, so the next build we have is this absolutely mind-blowing, like, I guess, uh, not colonial, but like Hamptons kind of style family home by Mickey Max 56789 And this house, you guys, I've, ha I've spent quite a few minutes, like quite a few, just looking around this, like off-camera. And there are so many things that you can probably... I could probably spend like a whole like half hour just looking around this build. Especially the interior and having a look at all of the tiny details. But let's just start off with the exterior because it's freaking gorgeous. Like, hello, it's absolutely amazing. And I mean the landscaping, all of like the green... These things that you see here that kind of look like little rocks or I don't know, yeah, like kind of like gravel type things. They're all like individual things of these like gathering of garden stones or whatever. And they're all individually placed. Like it's it's insane. It's it's kind of insane because there's a lot of them. <laughs> but yeah, you have at the back you have this cute little like pond area with a fountain and you have this really freaking awesome looking like sunken down like grill area. That looks so cool. I love the way they've used found not foundations but like what's the word platforms in this. I think there used to be like a stair railing here like stairs like going down from here. But I think move objects had an oopsie so just ignore that. Pretend that there are stairs like leading down. <laughs> But yeah, you have a pool that they can actually use. And then there's this really cool barn that they've built. This looks so cool. Like, obviously, it's like a really, like, double height barn. 
But in here, there are so many just like clutter items, you know. It looks like they could, you know, if we had cars, they could get car like a car still in here. But there's a bunch of like these really cool just clutter bits and like realistic looking things. I love what they've done with the floorboards here with like rotating them and stuff. That looks so cool. That looks like a completely new like flooring that we don't have in the game. But yeah, I love that. Now, going on to the interior, fair warning, there's a lot of clutter in this build. But it looks so cool. Like the interior, like going in, you have all of these like island count, not island counters, but like counters and stuff for like the entryway. All of like the clutter and the spandrels. And you know, you have this really cute like art studio that they have with a little platform going up to like the art studio. And through this way, you actually have an, another like office, little like office space. A very cluttered office space. Honestly, this is probably what my office would look like if I lived in this house. But yeah, so you have like a very cluttered little office space. We have, through this door, we have just like the mud room type thing to the backyard. But we also have the laundry room and a little half bathroom as well for your sims to use. Then going this way from the front door, let's go this way first, we have the living room. They do have a nice TV, even though this whole build is like super rustic and very like farmhouse, kind of almost off the grid feeling. There are things like computers and TVs and stuff like that, which I love. So yeah, I love the way this looks with like the dining room on the little platform and it's just, it's so cute. All of like the little clutter items, like these glasses that they placed and just all of the paintings and stuff everywhere this must have taken them forever to do because yeah there's a lot in this build now this these are actually two doors that they've layered over each other and yeah that leads into like the kitchen and the kitchen i love the way this kitchen looks like it's been renovated it, even though, you know, the upper cabinets are kind of older and they have these almost older looking shelves that they've cluttered up themselves. By the way, all of that clutter is stuff that they placed themselves. But these counters are actually the base game counters, like the base game industrial counters. And then they've used the debug small paintings and they've literally just placed them in front of all of the counters. Now, to do that, they would have had to delete all of the walls and stuff, which would have taken forever to do. So, yeah, that's just a very big feat on their part, and I love the way it looks. I just, I love that. I love that the, like, like fridge and stuff is also off to the side in its own, like, little pantry kind of nook area. That looks so freaking awesome. Like, really, absolutely amazing. Now, going upstairs, we have a little hallway area with just some more clutter, all of the clutter. And then we have another cute little, like, just tiny TV area. Maybe this is where the kids hang out or something like that. Now, to this side of the hallway, we have a little bathroom area. I love the way they've used platforms, like, throughout this whole build. I, it just looks awesome. And then we have a really tiny little bedroom, like, a really tiny kids' room. But I mean, it's so, it should be totally functional, so absolutely fantastic. I love that. And then we have, just like I said, a little seating area. We have another bedroom, a little bit bigger this time. But yeah, there's, I love the way they did these, like, I guess, walk-in wardrobes as well with the island living doors. I just, I love this so much. And the flooring, again, like the flooring that they did. And then we also have the master bedroom. So yeah, this looks fantastic. I'm I'm blown away by this build. Now you might think that they've cheated and changed the shape of the build because this bit wasn't there originally in my shell. But as you can see, these aren't full walls. They're not full walls. They're just half walls that they've placed and they actually haven't like used the space. It's just roofing. So yeah, that's actually not cheating. They did just place a half wall and if you look really closely, you can see underneath it. So yeah, it's not a full room that they've added or anything. It is just like half wall, clever half wall placement. But yeah, this looks absolutely fantastic and I, I love this build. It's probably one of my all-time favorite builds. But yeah, this, I don't know, this was just 
absolutely, absolutely amazing. Okay, so the final bold that I have to show you is this bold by Howdy Quinn. Now, you guys, just, just, let's just take a second, because how, how in the hell is this my shell? <laughs> like, how did they do this? This is absolutely mind-bogglingly good. Like, I'm, I'm blown away. And this build, like I said, is by Howdy Quinn, and I know they actually did a YouTube, like, speed build of this. I haven't watched the video yet, because I didn't want to, like, spoil it for myself. I saw the thumbnail, and then I knew that it was something that I wanted to watch after I toured the build. So, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and watch this, like, right as soon as I can. But I will leave a link to this speed build and to their channel and stuff like in the description because you just have to go ahead and check this out because just look at this. I mean, they used the debug waterfall from, I don't know, something. I know something came with the debug waterfall, but they've hidden it so well. It'll actually flow. If I had a sim on the lot, we could have seen this, but it will actually like the water will flow and everything and it's just like imagine like imagine living here this would be like the freaking dream but yeah you go up and you go up like all of these stairs you have your own pool with like a rock wall and stuff kind of almost like an infinity pool then you have just this these like big windows and this really cool thing with like the roofing that they did with platforms and stuff and just like the big glass roofs and everything you have this really big deck at the back with like these awnings with like the grill and the bar and just gathering space and then you have a little tiny little like I don't know like chess nook down there that we'll see better in a second. But yeah we also have obviously the upstairs decks and stuff but yeah let's take a look at the interior of this because this is awesome. So yeah they have raised the wall height to be like the medium wall height which is something that you could do. So yeah, you go in and you walk straight on into the living room but with all of these like big windows. I mean, I'm, I imagine the view from a place like this would be absolutely fantastic. So you would want to have a bunch of like big open like windows and stuff. But yeah, we also have a really nice modern like open air kitchen. And like obviously the dining room that goes out onto the back with like the porch and like the like chest table and everything. But this, this is so cool. Like, just look at this. Like, they've used, I think these are like, yeah, I think these are platforms or something that they've used. And they've made, like, steps up to the, like, staircase with a nice little, like, you know, I guess these would probably be, like, pebbles in real life. And these would be actual plants, like, actual succulents growing underneath the staircase and everything. This is just... It's fantastic. The color scheme, the like layout and everything is just amazing. So off of the entryway, we also have a cute little like office space for whoever lives here. So yeah, they have a cute little like office space in that. What's in there? That's actually a fish tank. That's so cool. So yeah, they have a little like fish tank built into the wall in the office. And then we also have, I'm gonna guess this is maybe either like the master bedroom or maybe it's like a guest room or something. Now this looks so cool. What is this? That's a column. That's a column that they've placed. You put shelves at the top and then use these things from, I think, Eco Lifestyle to create a built-in shelf. That looks Oh my soul, that so, that's so cool. That's just... I'm speechless. I'm, <laughs> I don't know what else to say apart from that's so cool and that's awesome. Because I don't know what other words to use like to describe what I'm feeling right now. But yeah, they have like a really big walk-in shower and everything. Very modern, very nice. Love that. So yeah, that's the whole first floor. And then going upstairs, we have a very nice landing with a glass roof and a grand piano. Because what mansion would be complete without the grand piano? But yeah, we have that. We have a nice little seating space up front. And we have obviously the deck at the upstairs as well with like the lounge chairs and everything. And we have a sauna. How did I miss this? 
yeah, they have an actual sauna in their house, so yeah, that's like, that, you know you're very rich when you have a sauna in your house. <laughs> But yeah, you have a, they have a sauna, then they have just another, like, I guess, family bathroom. And then, they have a twin room. That's the freaking cutest thing ever. This is like the third board that I've, that I've had, like, twin bedrooms in this. I just realized that, but that's kind of funny to me. <laughs> I really love that, though. But yeah, they have a twin bedroom with platforms, you know. The twin that lives up here has their, like, little guests, kind of like their own private, almost like treehouse platform type thing. So that's so cool. I love the colors. I love how the bedroom still fits in with the style of the rest of the house, but it still has, like, very obvious, like, bright colors in it as well. So I love that. This looks so cool. This house is just freaking amazing. So yeah, this was the master bedroom downstairs. But yeah, and then downstairs, there's a down, like, is there's just nothing. But yeah, but this is so cool. I just, I love the way this looks. This is definitely one of my favorite builds that I have ever seen. And I'm just blown away. Thank you so much, Howdy Quinn, for building this for my shell challenge. It's, I'm, I'm speechless, like I said, it's just fantastic. Definitely go and check out their channel and stuff, like I said, in the description. And go and check out all of these creators on the gallery as well, because I'm sure if they build stuff that are this awesome for my shell challenge, then their regular builds must be just as amazing. So, yeah, definitely go ahead and check them out. Thank you so much to everyone that participated in this shell challenge. It really means the world to me that you guys would take the time to participate in something like this and... Yeah, like I said, you know, giveaway, everything like that will be going until the 3rd. All of the information for that will be in the description as well. And like I said, if you have any questions, just ask in the comment section. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. And yeah, also, like I said, check out my Instagram for another giveaway that will also be running for a few days. So yeah, check that out. And again, like I said, thank you guys so much for participating in this and... Thank you so much for making the past like three years some of the best ever. My channel honestly means the world to me and being able to interact with all of you means even more. So yeah, thank you all so much for everything that you've done for me and for the channel. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. Like I you know, hope you enjoyed the video. All of that fun stuff. Leave a like, leave a comment. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and you'd like to see some more Sims content and I will talk to you on my very next video. Bye everyone.